So Caleb, Dr. Feelgood, back in the cage after a bit of a layoff, back in a five-round fight for a title against the number one ranked guy in New England, Nate Russell. Talk a bit about what got you back in the cage. Talk about what you've been up to. Tell us about that. Uh, so I've just been at college. Just been at college the whole time, just grinding the grades, you know, staying smart. Um, but it got me back into it. I've always been hungry ever since. Uh, people have been asking me, um, when you get back in, I was like, I don't know, maybe, maybe another time. But school comes first, you know? But I'm all, always in the gym, always training, getting after it. And it was just, it was just a matter of time before I signed another fight. Well said, and you're certainly coming back to a challenge. You're not <laughs> looking for an easy fight for your first fight back. You're fighting Nate Russell. Talk a bit about what you know about Nate, what you've seen in his fights, and what your prediction is for the fight. Uh, yeah, he's no, he's no pushover. I know that. Um, I know this would be a tough fight, which I was looking forward to. Uh, but I feel like I'll get in and get out of there pretty quickly. What do you think of his wrestling? I mean, that's obviously something that you're known for. Two-time state champ. You've been wrestling since you were three years old. You come from a combat sports family. Your grandfather was a Golden Gloves boxer. Your father and uncle set the state record. Amazing stat. They were five years old and three years old. It was the youngest sparring match on record in state history. I think that record still holds to this day. What are you, what are you feeling in terms of you know, the expectation of fighting the number one guy, the weight of that, and then what's it feel like to have your family coming out to support you in front of this sold out crowd this weekend? Uh, uh, family's coming out, friends and family, means everything. Um, but the weight of it, um, there's not really any pressure, I feel. Uh, I've been used to it, wrestling in front of everyone, fighting for a little bit. So no nerves, um, no pressure. So I'm just going and have fun. And coming out with a victory. I know you want to jump on that scale. You're anxious and I'll let you go. Last question. Is this the return are you, are you, are you, or is this like a one and done for again while you work on school or what can we expect to see out of you for the rest of the year, Caleb? Uh, this is definitely not one and done. I am definitely have one or two more fights for the rest of the year. Perfect. And is there any last words you want to say to your fans that are coming out to support you tomorrow night? Again, you've got a huge crowd. You've got massive support back there in your hometown of Rumford that's making the trip down to Portland. Anything you want to give them for a message as they make the trek down tomorrow night? Um, I will deliver.